Hello my friends, today we're gonna make a melodic future house drop like Oliver Heldens in FL Studio 20. The drop actually sounds a bit like a combination of Oliver Heldens and J. Esker in my opinion. We'll begin by setting the BPM to 126 and putting the swing to about 40%. Now, let's start with a nice vocal. Close our eyes and just let it go, you gotta hold on tight, I know what you want. Cause I'm running, yeah I'm running, yeah I'm running next to you. I added these mixing effects in order from left to right to make the vocal really powerful. Close our eyes and just let it go, you gotta hold on tight. Let's also add this pitched up vocal layer with a lot of distortion and a stereo shaper. And a pitched down vocal layer. Alright my friends, now that we have a nice vocal, let's make a bass line on top. We'll start off with a nice futuristic sounding bass layer. Now we're gonna add some more layers to make the bass more powerful and fat. Now that we have a nice sounding bass, we're gonna add some mixing effects to make it a lot bigger and more powerful. We'll start by mixing the mid bass. We're gonna begin with an EQ to shape the sound a bit, then a lot of compression using OTT. An EQ removing some harsh high frequencies created by the OTT. Distortion and compression using Camel Crusher. Another EQ. A soundizer to add some more power. Distortion with Fruity Fast Dist. And Fruity Stereo Shaper to make the bass wider. This my friends is what the mid bass sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. Now guys, let's quickly mix the sub bass and make it fatter. We'll take it from this. To this. In order to achieve that, we're gonna add distortion, OTT, a soundizer, and an EQ removing the highs. Now let's make a plucky lead melody that complements the bass line. Let's add some more layers to make the lead bigger. Guys, we're gonna mix the absolute crap out of this lead to make it as powerful as possible without sounding over compressed. We'll begin with a very short reverb just to make it sound a bit bigger. This is without the reverb. And this is with. Then we're gonna add a lot of compression using OTT, and of course an EQ removing the ugly frequencies created by the OTT. After that I added some compression and distortion using Camel Crusher, another EQ, a soundizer for some more power, EQ, and lastly a fruity stereo shaper to make the lead a bit wider in the mix. This is what the lead sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. We're also gonna add another reverb that's a bit bigger, and control it with this reverb automation. This my friends is what we have so far. Now guys and gals let's add some nice chords on top to add a bit more energy and emotion. But first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. The chords consist of a simple saw layer in serum playing these chords. I added some reverb for the chords, an EQ, compression using OTT, another EQ, distortion and compression using Camel Crusher, EQ, a soundizer, a final EQ, and a fruity stereo shaper to make the chords wider. This my friends is what the chords sound like without the mixing effects. And this is with. Now guys and gals let's lastly make a tight drums and effects pattern. We'll begin by making a drum beat that follows the same rhythm as the bass. Then we'll add some atmospheres and downlifters. And lastly an energy sample for the second half of the drop. Alright guys, here's the final result.
If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.